We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Cooking with Mari and Fee is now a series. You guys mm -hmm. liked it so much that we've decided to make this a series and we're gonna show you guys new recipes and answer your questions as often as we can. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Today we're making, actually I'm super pumped to try this. I'm very hungry right now. Mm -hmm. We're making spicy salmon bites, which I think will be a fun snack mm -hmm. slash meal. I would eat this for lunch for sure. Mm -hmm. Or even dinner. Let's, Let's do it. it. Um, also at the same time, we are gonna be doing a girl chat Q and A. So questions for Fee and I, which we asked you guys for on Instagram. Fee has a nice list of girly questions here for us. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. I am gonna skin this salmon. Okay, I'll, I'll get started <laughs> on the questions. Again, something I don't like to do. Yeah. Just like sausages. I do you all the that. dirty work around oh, here. Okay, so I thought this one was fun to start with because we actually get asked this a lot. Is it ever awkward being both BFFs and boss and assistant? No. I mean, it's not, you would think so. It's really awkward. No kidding. It's, it's, it's not, not awkward. I think when when I hired Fee, we had a great conversation about it. Mm -hmm. We were like, you know, this is a business. This is a job. Let's just keep our friendship and professional life separate mm -hmm. and always be super honest with each other when it comes to like everything. Fee is the only person that I can spend this much time with and not hate them for some reason. So it's working out great. <laughs> I don't know if you feel the same way. No, I do, no. And yeah, from the beginning, we pretty much were like, okay, nine to five. Sometimes little things will come up and we'll be like, okay, after five, like yeah. we want to talk about stuff, but we really do try to separate it. Yeah. And yeah, I'll be with her all week. And then on Sunday, I'll be like, what are you doing? Yeah. We hang <laughs> out outside of, we even though we spend ev all day, every day with yeah. each other, we still hang out outside of work. So I think that's a good yeah. sign. But it's nice because like during work, we're talking about work stuff and you know. And honestly, we have similar passions. Like mm -hmm. we both love this industry mm -hmm. and I think it's, you know, we both enjoy making content, so. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for you. Best places to grab a girl's <laughs> night out drink. I'm moving to LA soon near Santa Monica. Let them know, Fee. Wow, directly at me, okay. Elefante is a great one. It's like such a beautiful restaurant and it has like a, you can see the ocean from it, really good drinks, yeah. really good food. Get um, the eggplant dip. Oh my god! And the bread. I got it last weekend. It was like incredible. Um, yeah, I would say Elefante. I love, we live near Venice, so I prefer Venice to go out normally, mm -hmm. but Elefante is an awesome one. Bungalow? Bungalow, if you're like trying to have like a wild Saturday with some friends, maybe bungalow. Maybe yeah. they are. Yeah, Tell yeah. them everywhere you go. Bungalow, Here, I'll take the it. Victorian. I went to this place called the Canary Lounge the other weekend. It was so fun. It was like dance, like EDM DJ music, but so fun. They had like a live trap violinist. It was very fun. That's definitely more like going out out. Um, but yeah, there's a lot, there are a lot of spots in LA, so. Where I like to go for coffee or breakfast, I'll just tell you guys some places. Juusta, amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, G J U S T A, Sachi LA for great matcha. Oh, we love great white. We're going mm -hmm. there this week. Zinke. Yes. Just an update for you guys on the salmon bites. I'm going to cut this large piece of salmon into square chunks, which we are then going to air fry. While I do that, maybe you should start on the avocado. Yes. How do you balance your relationship, social life, work, and reaching your goals? If I knew. <laughs> I would tell you. I'm a big fan of time blocking. So as Fee said, in my head, although I don't really have a nine to five, I'm kind of have a all the time type of job. I do like to act as if I have a nine to five. So for me, as soon as it's nine, I'm in my office, I'm ready to work, I'm ready to make content. And then I try to be done by around five, but like, for example, today we're going over five. Sometimes that happens. But um, you know, I have a morning routine that's just for me. I'm focused on myself and meditating. In the evening, I'm spending time with Greg and Lulu. So I try to section things off and then schedule your fun is also a great tip. Like otherwise I can like just work all day. Like I'm never really <laughs> done with work. There's yeah. always something to do. Yeah, we've definitely been actively trying to also like make more plans and like yeah. make like actual plans to see people. I feel like it's very common 
maybe other places too, but in LA, you see someone, you're like, oh, let's get together sometime. And you're like, yeah. And then you never actually get together. 100%. So I feel like we've been actively like, if we are like, oh, we'd love to see them we'll make a plan and actually yeah. try to. Like we yeah. have a dinner this week mm -hmm. that with the girl that we've been wanting to hang out with. Mm -hmm. Now we know it's happening Wednesday night. We made the plan. Made the plan. We have a team dinner this week. We have mm -hmm. a lot to look forward to, I feel mm -hmm. like this week. So yeah. make sure you're scheduling fun. It can get hard to balance it all, but you just gotta. Yeah, just know that we struggle with that yeah. too. Yeah, and if you're gonna make this recipe, it's actually a great idea just to get extra salmon and set it aside for meals you may wanna make the rest of the week. Okay, so we're gonna pop those in the air fryer. Okay, so I don't know if you guys wanna come look what we got inside here. Parchment paper. So we laid down parchment paper. Now we're gonna place our little salmon chunks. And I think we should do them for about six minutes. That was Greg's opinion. Mm -hmm. And by the way, guys, this recipe was a viral TikTok recipe. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, I'm gonna pop it in here. I swear this thing is like a time capsule magic yeah, machine. Cool. We've been making everything in this. Yeah. If this is not an ad for an air fryer. A good gadget to have. But if they want to sponsor us, they should <laughs> because B and Mari recipes is taken off, let me tell you. Also really easy to use them for food prep. 100%. Like you throw a bunch of vegetables in there, throw some chicken in there after, and you have like a whole meal and you all you had to do was chop some stuff up. Yeah. Even pre-sliced veggies. Just show it like. And have there. you ever put chicken with almond flour on it in there? It tastes like fried chicken. chicken. Or like a chicken palm. Yes. I mean, uh, yeah. Jason Me. and Tyler are video of a chicken nodding. <laughs> you gotta try That's that. So good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now for the spicy part, Fee chopped up our avocado, as you can see. Oh, sorry, Fee. <laughs> I get it. I'm gonna chop up some jalapenos. I'm a little nervous about this. Okay, we're gonna check on our salmon bites in 20 seconds. I'm curious to see if they're done. Oh, oh they look good. I'm impressed. Okay, yeah, show, the, show them. Now is when we're gonna actually build our salmon bites. So I get a lot of questions about what rice wrappers I use because I use these for spring rolls as well. This is the brand I love. I just grab it at Whole Foods, folds pretty nicely. It's still a little bit tricky. All you need is a bowl of water, which we both have. And let's get going. There is a strategy to it. It's like, you there's can't, a strategy, but it sure. gets too okay. soggy. But yeah. then it also has to be... So, I'm gonna roll my sleeves up for this. You kind of want to rotate it in the bowl of water. So you're getting it moist from every angle. And then I kind of splash the middle because you want to be pretty gentle with these, otherwise they'll rip. And then just keep going until it feels like it's getting a little bit bendier, but not too bendy. I feel like Mari gets asked this a lot, especially on her Q and A's. Mm. And I feel like you've never really addressed it, but a lot of people wonder if you are on birth control and if it has affected your fitness journey. Um, I am on birth control. Do I like birth control? No, I'm not a big fan. I feel like it's pretty annoying that us gals have to deal with birth control because mm. You know what? It's a bunch of hormones that we don't need. I'm very into hormonal balance. It's a journey that I'm on at the moment. And I feel like it's added hormones that I don't want, but I need to be on it, obviously. Um, it's been a journey for me. I found one that, you know, doesn't give me too much negative side effect. So it hasn't really affected my fitness, but you know, I feel like hormones affect everything. It affects mood, it affects mm. skin, it affects like gut health. So I would say like, you know, try to find a great one for you or I don't know, I'm thinking of coming off of mine. Do you feel like yours is affected? I mean, yeah, you had a rough journey. I was it. on it for like nine years straight. And then at the beginning of COVID, I was kind of just like, I'm gonna try going off it. I read like a bunch of books and stuff about it and how it wasn't the best for you. And yeah. at the time I wasn't seeing anyone. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go off it. And I love being off of it. I felt really good. Um, I know not everyone can do that. And I know, you know, some people take it for their skin and a lot of other things. Yeah. I then tried going back on it and I felt different and I didn't like it. So yeah, 
I'm not. I'm just smart and. And yeah. again, we're not, we are not medical professionals, yeah. which you guys know. We're just having a gal chat right mm -hmm. now. Um, but I would say, like, don't feel pressured to take it. You know, mm. it's like kind of crazy that we all feel like we have to take this pill. Okay, so I'm building my bite right now. So here's how we're going to fold it based on the video on TikTok. I'm going like this. I'm going to roll. Woo! Oh my God. Okay. Now I'm gonna fold these in. So as you can see, like the wrapper gets pretty tacky at this point. Mm -hmm. So doing it on a wood cutting board helps, I would say. And then I'm gonna roll it over on itself. Eek. Okay. Oh. So it's definitely like a lot of rice wrapper for the ratio of salmon. It's so cute. It's cute. Okay. okay. <laughs> we're gonna set these aside because we're gonna finish them in the pan. Mm -hmm. So let's keep okay, wrapping so them just up. Now that we're in that region, what underwear do you wear when you work out? Okay, so I get this question all the time. I didn't know we were wearing underwear with workout clothes. That was news to me. Gals, I'm not wearing underwear with leggings. It just doesn't need to happen. B has a different opinion. Guys, when I first met Mari, I forget like how it came up. I think it was like organizing her closet one day. Yeah, it was when I used to, do you guys remember when I was part time and I used to like or go in and organize? Uh, I had all this time that yeah. I would go in and organize. Now we don't have as much time anymore. Um, I would go in and organize her closet. And I think one day I was like, where's your underwear drawer? And she was like, oh, like, I don't wear underwear. <laughs> I thought that was so weird, you guys. Oh, I, I don't, don't think it's weird. It's and now, <laughs> now I talk to more girls in the fitness industry yeah. and a lot of girls don't. Yeah, very common. <laughs> but I have a bold opinion on that. I don't, I mean, I don't really care if I get a camel to be honest. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I don't care. Do I feel weird at the gym sometimes when I feel like I'm getting some looks? Yeah. But I, I don't gotta, really care. You gotta embrace it at this point, you know? Facts. They shouldn't be looking there anyways. Facts. <laughs> Do you rock your camel yeah. toe? <laughs> Own your camel toe. Own your camel toe. That's my petition. More Next camel question. <laughs> okay. Um, what are your favorite sports bra? Brand? Sports bra brand. What are your favorite sports bra brands? I like? am a big fan of Gymshock sports mm -hmm. bras. Same. I like Aloe sports bras. Mm -hmm. I like, I actually haven't been too into the Lululemon ones lately. Yeah, I'm, I think I wore Aloe today, the one shoulder one. I really mm -hmm. like that. Um, yeah. The sports bras, I'm a little bit more like, I have fun with those. Mm -hmm. Like with the leggings, I tend to stick to the same brands, but yeah. Sports bras, I'll like try Amazon ones. I'll try, mm -hmm. you know. Free People has some cute ones yeah, too. Yeah, we so cute. Lot, yeah. What was some advice that you gave me when I started my fitness journey? I mean, I think you asked me about diet mm -hmm. when you first started. I mean, you were already on your fitness journey. So yes. the way that I hired Bee, and I think I told this story last time, she was using my workout guides and Bloom and she would tag me in her posts and I would see her pop up every day. So when I got the email that she was looking for a position, I already knew who she was. But I think I, a lot of girls are afraid of healthy fats and I don't know if you mm -hmm. were afraid of them, but I think since you were around me a lot, I mm -hmm. kind of like showed you yeah. that it's okay to eat a lot of fat. And also Definitely. I eat a lot. Yeah. I yeah. think Fee was surprised by that. I think a lot of people assume I don't eat very much, but yeah. I'm, eat, I'm eating all day. Yeah, I feel like people in the fitness industry just get a rep for like not eating to look the way they do. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's okay for some people, but Amari, I was like, when I first started with her, like two hours into the workday, she's like, I need my snack. I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. And then, then we have lunch. And then she's like, I need my afternoon snack. And then dinner, and I was yeah. But all like healthy, yeah. really good, you know, ingredients and stuff. And yeah, I've definitely noticed since I started working with Mari, you know, I'm not, I used to work in like a corporate office and we catered lunch twice a week. And when I tell you, like when I first started there, they were like, welcome to you know the company. Like you're gonna gain the, it's like the, the freshman 15, but at this company. Mm -hmm. And I did. <laughs> and then when I started with Mari, it was so refreshing to work somewhere that like, we still were making snacks and like getting to do fun stuff like this, but it was like yeah. much healthier recipes. And you know, if we want to go out and grab something, we'll go grab a smoothie or go grab, you know, yeah. a salad. Like we, we have similar uh, tastes in yeah. food. For sure. So we Definitely. have fun going out together. Yeah. And, but we it. still have our treat meals. Mm -hmm. I've been, I don't know if I've told you guys yet, but I've been trying a gluten-free diet. So for those of you who don't know, 
I struggle with hormonal acne and I've just been on a journey of like trying to find out what's triggering it. And for a while I was just doing keto because I felt like that was the best way for me to manage it. Not even for health reasons, but uh, for my hormones and my mood, I was finding keto was the best, but it's so restrictive that I really wanted to expand my diet and you know, I wanted to eat carbs. So lately I've been experimenting with potatoes, rice, you know, gluten-free breads, this, this is gluten-free. So, yeah. and it's been going very well and I'm having fun making recipes that are gluten-free. So Home just a little update. <laughs> what are you doing? I was gonna spray it <laughs> and then you- Over my head? <laughs> no, I was gonna walk around with it. Wait, can we- <laughs> I was gonna- No, we're leaving that in. Okay. We're exposing how we have fears. All right, little spritz. Uh, now I'm going to pop our bites in. Oh my God, they're sticking. Okay, no, we're good. Do you change your training style at that time of month? No. Um, I don't. When I when it's that time of month, I do not change my training style. Um, I won't lie, like I don't struggle too much with, I get a little bit of fatigue beforehand for mm -hmm. sure, but I feel like the workout helps if anything, it really energizes me. So I don't really change too much. Do you change anything? Um, if I don't feel like doing like a heavy, like weightlifting workout during it, I'll just go like walk on the treadmill. It kind of just depends, same with yeah. Ari. I'll definitely feel like a little more bloated if I'm rocking a sweatshirt to the gym. Yeah. I'm not feeling myself, but I still try to go. Yeah. I, yeah. I need to keep it in a routine. If I like stop for a couple of days, I just. Exactly. And sometimes mm. if you don't feel well mentally or physically and mm. you like feed into that and act, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you're going to make it worse for yourself, yeah. if that makes sense. Mm. Um, it's almost like you need to pretend. Fake mm -hmm. until you make it. Um, oh, we get asked this a lot too. Our hair routine because we work out, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty, actually curious regularly. what yours is. What? No, you go ahead. So I used <laughs> to just shower and wash my hair every day after I worked out and I it's not too great for your hair and it's annoying, mm -hmm. it takes a long time. So now I'll use dry shampoo and I wash my hair probably like every three days. And if it's gross, <laughs> then you just slick it back and do like a bun or a pony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have like a whole kind of, how would I say, like routine of my days of hair. I probably wash mine twice a week, maybe. I try to save it for like the weekend, like a Thursday or Friday, like to go into the weekend. Yeah. Um, but same with Mari, it's like all, you know, wear it down for two or three days and then dry shampoo, a lot of dry shampoo, um, and then like a bun. And then like today I'm racking some braids. Like it just depends. Fee is, Fee is really yeah. good with hair. Like she, yeah. you need to do a, a hair curling tutorial for us because mm, you're really good. Do you guys want to see what this looks like? Because it looks pretty cool. These are just sizzling away. I'm going to flip them pretty soon and get like a nice browning. Mm. All right, I'm just flipping these now. They're a little sticky, which is a little tough, but they're coming out great. And then once these are done, we'll just put some sesame seeds and create a little dipping sauce. These are so cute. Let's save one for Greg. Okay, guys, our little salmon bites are finished. Yay, I'm gonna plate them. And then Fee is gonna add the sesame seeds. And then I'm gonna grab some like fun dipping sauces that are gluten-free because we are on that gluten-free grind. Making a mess. That's okay. That's our vibe. That is, that is our vibe. Our spicy salmon bites are done. We are gonna dip them in tamari light sauce, which is gluten-free and sriracha chili sauce. I'm now realizing these might be a lot spicier than I anticipated because they have jalapeno. Yeah, let's mix it up in there. I'll grab a spoon. And then we have one more question for our Q and A, which is, for Fee, because <laughs> clearly I'm not dating anyone right now. Because I'm married. <laughs> I would hope not. <laughs> the question, no. wait, actually let's try one of these first because I'm hungry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I know. <laughs> mm, so good. 
really good. I think one of our best recipes. I that might be one of our best. And we would tell you guys, good. by the way, if it doesn't come out good, we'll let you know. Yeah. And you shouldn't make it, but yeah, this, this is, it's worth it. This is good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know it's good when you're covered in soy sauce. I got mm -hmm. you. you gals. <laughs> That's what gals are for. Mm -hmm. Wait, let me read the question because it's really funny. It was, this is exactly verbatim in the Q&A. From the Q&A. DMs. How to get back into dating when it literally feels hopeless and men are trash, lol. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. The two men behind the camera are like, <laughs> you know, B, let us know. I wish I knew the answer to that. No, question. you actually do have good advice. Okay. <laughs> so how to get back into dating when it feels hopeless. I totally get it. And I have been there pretty recently. You know, I like to believe everything happens for a reason. And if you look at the big picture, you really just want to have fun. And like, if someone's not adding to your life in a way that's making it fun and enjoyable, then like, why have them in your life? So I would just recommend, you know, focus on yourself. I think when you are working on yourself, that's when good things happen and you attract good things. Yeah. Also like put yourself out there. If like you meet someone and they ask you out, like go, don't be scared. It might not work out, but you know, like that's life yeah. and that's how you learn. And I think every relationship, even if it doesn't work out, it's a lesson, you know, and you learn something important, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Although I can't give much input on this, just through watching Fee, she spent a lot of time being single and like finding herself. She lives alone. Like she just took time to find out who she is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like through doing that, you learned what your value is. And now yeah. if you date a guy and he doesn't appreciate that and he doesn't like, mm -hmm. you know, put in the effort, she's like, okay, next. Because she knows who she is at this point. Period. Ariana Grande. Period. Thank you, Max. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> we're not here for any tomfoolery. <laughs> we are not. So here if for you're any a male and you're watching our channel, <laughs> stay off of feet if you're up to tomfoolery. Okay, guys, we are gonna close off this girl chat slash spicy salmon sesh. Cheers, V. Thanks for joining Cheers. us. Let us know what questions you want us to answer on our next mm. Q and A. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about <laughs> anything, as you can tell. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>